Hello friends. Today you are going to be answering the question, why do we see different colors? With the help of a digital model that we can find online. Now, you're going to be using that model by going to the website run by the University of Colorado Boulder. It's called uh, their FET Labs, P-H-E-T. I'm going to provide you the link in your um, lesson, but you can also find this by searching on Google FET, P-H-E-T, Color Vision uh, Lab. And you'll probably get to this page right here that you see. Um, when you click on this play button right here, it is going to open up the color vision model. Remember, a model is a tool that scientists use to help us understand the way the world works. And in this color vision model, you'll see that you actually have two choices to start with. You can start with a single bulb model or actually three sources of light. Uh, they say RGB bulbs. That stands for red, green, blue. Uh, I want you to start with the single bulb. So I'm going to tap the single bulb and you'll immediately see that this um, model has a few components to it or parts that uh, you can change and work with. Uh, to make sense of this model, I'm going to go over some of those parts with you. The first part here on the left is the um, human. That's the way that you're going to know what humans see based on what is coming into their eye. There are two settings. You can look at this human from the outside, or you can look at this person uh, from the inside where we see that our eye, which is of course the sensor that collects light, is connected to the brain. And the brain is responsible for making sense of those signals uh, that the eye sends to it. We know what the brain is uh, seeing, if you will, or making sense of based on this thinking cloud that is popping up. Right now you'll notice that this human is seeing the color black. Black is the color that we think of as connected to the lack of light or the absence of light. When there's no light, we observe the color black or darkness. Uh, now on the right side here, you'll see that there is a light that can be turned on. Uh, that light can either be a color like we see here, and you can change that color by dragging this uh, bar along um, to the left and right of the color spectrum, or you can tap on the white light. And when you turn that light on, it's going to shine that light. The light source is going to shine directly at this eye, and we are going to be able to make sense of what this person is seeing. Now, as that light shines, we um, can change some parts of this model. Um, if we can change it back to a color um, to see different colors being observed by that person. We can also change the model to represent light in a different way. Right now we're sort of representing light as a beam of light. Uh, that's the kind of way we often model light when we're thinking about light passing from one object to another. <clears throat> but scientists also think of light uh, sometimes as little packets of energy that are flowing from the source outward. And those packets of energy are called photons. If we tap this button here, we're going to change this model to represent a photon model of light. And as you can see, that green light that we had is now streaming these little, little dots, these particles of uh, energy in this green color that some of which are reaching the eye and causing our human to think that, uh, to see that color, so to speak. Um, if I change the spectrum, of course, we're going to get some different color um, photons being shared. And if I tap on the white bulb here, well, when I do that, you are going to see what many of us understand, at least from reading about light, is that 
uh, the color of white, our natural light from the sun, if you will. White light is actually a blend of all these many different colors combined. We see that in our model from all these different colors that are streaming from the light source to our eye. And even though that eye might be receiving different colors of red, yellow, blue, purple, orange, yellow again, right? the eye is making sense of all those colors streaming at once into the eye as white light. Now what I want you to investigate today is how the third part of this model affects this stream of light and what we observe. That third part here is the filter or what I think of as kind of a lens. So when you press this button here, it is going to uh, turn on a lens. It's going to put a lens in between the light source and our eye. And you can change that lens just as you could change the source of light uh, to be a different color. This is a little bit like the idea of looking through rose-colored glasses, if you will, red glasses, um, or any other color for that matter. But when you turn that light on, you're going to uh, be able to model and see how a lens might affect light that is trying to pass through it. Um, now, that's going to be your challenge for today is to explore that lens and to um, try to make some sense and come up with your own explanations about how it is or why it is that we see different colors in our world based on the light that's coming uh, to our eyes and what that light may or may not be passing through. So good luck with your investigation and I hope you learn something new about light energy and how you and I perceive or see light with our eyes. Mm.